Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call together the planning board meeting for March 7th. <clears throat> First, to read a little opening statement. This meeting is being recorded in accordance with the government order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law, chapter 38, section 20. Real time public participation and comment can be addressed to the planning board utilizing the vir Zoom virtual meeting software for remote access. This application will allow users to view the meeting and send a comment or question to the chair via the question and answer function. Submitted text comments will be read into the record. For those of you joining by phone, press star nine. If you want to ask a question, please raise your hand. A copy of this recording will be on the city's web pages. All votes will be done via roll call to ensure account accuracy. And we'll do a roll call. So Larry Hassan. Here. James Sweeney. Here. Okay, Orlando Spinola. Here. Okay. Tony Gonzalez, present. Thank you. Quick review of the agenda tonight because we've had a few continuances. Um, if you're here for permission to return to ZBA 1449 Main Street, that has been continued to an unknown date until we have a fifth board member. If you're here for permission to return to ZBA 48. Uh, an unknown date or date next? Unknown. Well, until you have the fifth. Let's let's continue it to the April seventeenth okay. meeting. All right, noted. Because then they, we would have to re-advertise. Okay. Is that uh, April thirteenth? I'm sorry. It'll be yeah, okay. April thirteenth. It's a Thursday. Okay. It's a Thursday. And that'll be in person right now. Live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, return to ZBA 48 North Pearl Street. That's also been continued to April. Um, we are hearing tonight permission to return to ZBA 124 Bradley Ave. Applicant is John and Lisa McCormick, Representative Curly and Hansen. And then we have um, another permission to return to ZBA 159 North Main Street, Sauna Realty Trust. Is the applicant or the representative Orwick Associates? All right. Um, and did the board members have a chance to review last month's meeting minutes? Yes. Yes. And I yes. get a motion. Motion to approve minutes Second. from last month. Second. Okay. All right. Roll call Larry Hassan? Yes. James Sweeney? Yes. And then I think Orlando sits this one out because he wasn't okay. officially on the board. Correct, correct, He's, he doesn't vote on this one. And Tony Gonzalez, yes. So those have been approved, thank you. Uh, we have one ANR, Evan? Yep, one ANR, it's uh, right downtown. It's the Dunkin' Donuts in the old D'Angelo's right by the train station. Um, Basically, the lot lines between the two are shifting over uh, to shift some of the parking from one to the other. I thought we did that last month. Mm, did we? Pretty sure. Well, well, if we did, then we don't have any ARs. Just double confirm. Yes, we did that last month. Oh, well, my fault. Then we have no ANRs. We're good. All right. Very good. Moving right along. Um, <laughs> no street acceptance, lot releases. Okay. We're, we <clears throat> is the applicant here for 124 Bradley Ave. Lisa McCormick. And Bill Self. I am promoting you guys to panelists. And you should be, is Lisa coming? Okay, Mr. Self, will you be giving the presentation? You're muted. Bill, you're on mute. I always watch everybody else do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yes, uh, Todd Filling. 
uh, Todd Pilling will be signing in. Uh, that's also is, is, is John and Lisa McCormick, the owners of the property. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be on. Uh, I'm just waiting for Todd to show up. Here he is. Uh, now, if I, I'm not correct, you, you, you do have that extra member that we were continuing the board the meetings for. Is that still the case? Yes, Mr. Spinola is on. Okay, okay. So we're with the other two will continue, but I just want to double check. <clears throat> Mr. Pilling, are you ready to present? Yeah, he's on. Todd, unmute. Unmute, unmute Todd. and take it away. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be more the um, <coughs> the tech guy here. Yeah. But. What we'd like to do, uh, Mr. Chairman, is 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 I'll in, I'll uh, he's going to Todd's going to put the plans up and I'll describe. Uh, where we are with this. Uh, so if there's any questions, uh, it's basically we're coming back from the from uh, denial for the ZBA uh, over a year ago. A uh, couple of the main things that they were looking at were, there was a lot of question about the architectural plans that we had prepared and submitted. Uh, the clarity wasn't there and there was confusion on the plans. I think that's what stemmed most of the conversation. Uh, it had to do with, there was a, a bedroom shown, uh, an existing bedroom in the basement. Uh, so, but our proposal was to eliminate that with an addition. And the second, the second question I think they had, it was brought up uh, by the chairman, I believe that uh, we had the addition that was on the end of the house. Uh, and I think one of the things that he brought up was that our lot's only 70 feet wide and 7,035 square feet. It's a very small lot. And it, with the second floor addition on it as well, it made it look a little bit bigger than the lot. So I'd like to start with that. If we could just put up the existing conditions plan uh, just to give the board, you know, board a quick review of what we're trying to accomplish, and then we can go to the plan and show you where the questions were. And specifically focus on either any substantial changes or um, a change and, or a new hardship, please. Yeah, and and and, and both of them, both of them will, will 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 go in the hardship. This is this is what we're seeing here. This is the existing house on the lot as itself. Uh, if we if we scan over to as you look here, you can see out in the back. There's a gazebo with a fire pit. There's an above ground pool in the shed out in back. So you know it's you can see it's a well, 7350 square feet, very small lot, 70 feet of frontage. If you scan over to the other side, Todd, over the left of the screen, the what I, what we try to do is put the houses. The, the house that's in the middle right there, that's the existing property. Uh, and if you if you slide down, that's the that's the same property with the house to the right, same style home, again smaller lots consistent. If you see this, this is the one to the left of the house, and basically this is the same house. This is what the uh, applicant is is trying to accomplish. They want to install a porch, and then uh, a front porch uh, for the access, and also you know just to put a second floor in them. Uh, so what we're proposing to do is, is this would be the front of the house with the porch. Uh, if, you sh if you show us on the back, Todd, uh, you can see on the, on, the, on, the, on the rear of the property, there'll be a 10, uh, 10 foot wide addition uh, towards, the, uh, towards the back of the house. And again, uh, there's only an attic. One of the questions was that the first house showed dormers. And it was a it was a question as far as you know is that going to be used for a room or a, or an apartment or or, or extra bedroom excuse me uh, the, all those dormers have been eliminated uh, the total height of the house is excuse me is twenty eight feet high and but it's a standard colonial as you saw in the in the schematic and uh, Todd if we could scan down into the rooms. Uh, for the different elevation mm -hmm. of the room. Yep, there you go. 
Uh, first, if we, if we can dwell on the basement, which is the first one, the other, the other way. What, what, we, what before would existed down the basement, uh, you could see that uh, there's a stairs that go up and out to the rear yard, to the, to the top right. And there's an existing bathroom and there's, there's an existing, what used to be a bedroom down there. Uh, so that is, is not, that's being eliminated. There will be no bedroom. It's basically just, it could be a sitting room or it could be a storage. And the other two rooms that were sectioned off, they will, one's the utility uh, room that are used by utility and whatever storage. And the other one will also be for, just for storage. So there is, will be no living space, you know, in the, in the, in the cellar, in the basin area. If you go to the second and the first floor, but hmm. the first law, uh, uh, the applicant, Lisa uh, McCormick, she's, she's had uh, uh, cerebral, cerebral palsy uh, most of her life. And as she gets a little older, you know, things uh, get a little bit more difficult, you know, for her, especially in the existing house. She's really adding on uh, the addition to expand what was before the, the kitchen and the living in a, in, a, in, a, in a small dining area. But as you can see here, the addition to the rear uh, provides so that she can have room to move around, remodeling the kitchen and be able to move around with her walker, you know, when, when, you know, when things get a little you know, tiring and she needs to, needs to use that. The other thing that, that will, is going to, is that it creates you know, so that there's two bedrooms downstairs that'll be occupied, um, you know, by Mr. and Mrs. Uh, McCormick. And the second floor addition will house two separate bedrooms. Uh, they have uh, two boys that, that uh, live at home with them. And so one of them was down in the, in the basement. Uh, that's where his bedroom was before. But now with the additional room, he's going to be moved up with the second son up into the top, into the second floor bedrooms. So that's the purpose of the second floor being added on. Uh, again, the third floor is, 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 there is no third floor. It's just a basic attic. If you look at the uh, second floor plan, you can see that there's a pull down uh, stairs just to, just to access the attic for whatever needs, uh, means would need to be up there. Uh, as far as the, uh, as far as the, uh, I know the hardship was brought up. I, I think I, as I, I revisited the, uh, you know, the Zoom meet, meeting that was on uh, YouTube, uh, not the Zoom meeting, but the YouTube meeting, just to refresh my memory. I, I think what really existed was, was what is the house really going to look like? They, they was, there certainly wasn't back then and, and now any plans for uh, that bedroom was coming upstairs. But again, the plans were very confusing. They've had them redrawn. And as you, we've just shown you, that's, that's the uh, change in that. And the other is, is we took the 10, inch, the 10 foot addition that was proposed originally on the driveway side that made the, the house uh, look a lot longer. So it's a house now is 32 feet. It would have been 42, but on a 70 foot lot, uh, one of the members, you know, he, he had a question as far as you know, what was the, the appearance going to be? But this way, nothing's changing with the appearance in the front. It'll be a second floor straight up, and then the addition uh, going out to the back, uh, the 10 foot addition that allows her to, to, to move out towards the backyard. Again, a hardship has been, you know, it's, it's a small lot. It's, it's consistent with all the other lots around. The, the house, again, that was uh, next door, uh, it, it's going to be identical basically to that. Uh, and, and, and the hardship in this particular case really is, is uh, as she's getting older, it's getting a little bit more difficult, you know, with her uh, medical condition there. So that was the whole purpose for the addition. So and that's, that's where we feel that uh, with the changes in the architectural plan and certainly making it look like it's more consistent, uh, again, you know, identical to the house next door, uh, and that those are significant changes to get back to the Board of Appeals. Um, but that, 
this plan is how you presented it to the Z ZBA though. Well, we the plans that we presented had the addition proposed on the side, which was a 10 foot. Uh, uh, yeah, you're looking at the front of the house now that was proposed, you see this bump out on the left side. Yeah, which when you go to now, we don't have that anymore. And the front, this one here had the up in the attic space, it looked like it was going to be something more. And now it's not anymore. And go to the next to the last, uh, the plan, uh, Todd, number six. The old one? The next to the last one. Yeah. Uh, this was the original, this was the original plan that was submitted to the board, Board of Appeals. And you can see that that the house, you know, we had the addition that was proposed was on, on the side where the driveway is now. And again, the appearance of that was on a 70 foot lot. It made it a little bit more, you know, condensed, uh, even though it conformed to the zoning, but the other side doesn't. But this, in this case, we've taken one of the suggestions where if we could, where you see the proposed deck on this, we slid the addition back around, still allowed her to increase that you know, the, the dining room space, especially the kitchen. And that was the major change on the architectural, as well as uh, more clearly showing that there, there is not going to be a bedroom. Um, and there, you know, really, there's no dorm is up top. So it's just, you know, just a standard attic, you know, with a pool just to get up there, whatever, if you had Christmas decoration storage or whatever you'd put up there, typical of what would be stored in an attic uh, space. Okay. All right. Thank Madam you Chair. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, this is one of those examples of why the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals needs to allow continuances. Um, as they got out in front of the crowd, there were some, they were representing themselves. There were some questions that were unable to be answered at the time. And if the, if, if zoning would have allowed them to continue, they could have gone back adjusted the plan and come forward and not have been uh, denied in the first place. And I, I know I'm sounding like I'm editorializing, but uh, unfortunately this, this um, couple got caught in the crossfire. Um, I think it's a, a much improved plan and uh, Bill has done a great job with his architect. And so can the ZBA actually, they have the ability to continue it and they did not or does something have to change on their end are you saying they have they have created a policy of once you start your presentation it's all or nothing and unlike the with the planning board if you get into a point you need to adjust something you can continue to the next meeting and adjust it so who it's perfectly be? it's permittable by law it's just the policy that they've chosen to adopt and who would be the, the, would that be the city councilors that would work with that at large that would work with them to adjust their policy? Uh, that would be the, the chair of the committee and hopefully um, the planning board representative to the zoning board of appeals could. Uh... I'll mention that to them. I think it's a great idea. It, it definitely yeah. saves time and, you know, for, for something like this and many others. And heartache, heartache. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it, could I just, uh, uh, the outside looking in, we do a lot of these in other cities and towns, and we understand both sides of it. Uh, and in a case like this, where it sometimes it's just a minor change, you know, we might not see it with a presentation, or a couple of board members may not be convinced or really can't see if they'd like to see something. And that enables uh, the applicant to come back. You know, it's still a month later, but at least it comes back with the, with the changes. And it also cuts down the activity, uh, I think, for having to come back to the planning board to get approval to go back. Right. Uh, just from a, just from a, you know, regimental thing, you know. But right. uh, yeah, that's a great idea, Robert. Okay, great idea. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? If not, is this open for public? Uh, yes, Madam Chair, this is open for public discussion. If there is a member of the public uh, who would like to um, give comment on this, please use the raise your hand icon at the bottom of the screen. 
and we will unmute your microphone and allow you to address the board. If you're on the phone, please hit star nine to indicate that you want to um, address the board. And at this point, Madam Chair, I do not see anyone indicating that they would like to speak. Okay, is there a motion? Motion to approve a charter ZBA. Second. Roll call. Larry Hassan? Yes. James Sweeney? Yes. Landa Spinola? Yes. Tony Gonzalez, yes. All right, congratulations. Thank After you very you. much. Greatly Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa and John. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Rob. Good night. Good day. Thank you, Todd. Okay, next uh, and last, we have 159 North Main Street. Um, Orwig Associates. I'm moving people over now. So Daniel Orwig should be coming over. And Tony Blaze should be, Tony declined. Dan, let me try doing that again. You're being promoted to a panelist. Please accept it in order to uh, make a presentation. Is Tony part of your group? Here he comes. Mr. Orwig, is Tony Blaze part of your group? He should be. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can. Can you see me? I can see you. OK, all right. Uh, well, Tony was going to show up, but I could go ahead and start if you. Well, Tony is here. I'm trying to promote him to panelist so that he can address the team. He okay. needs to accept that invitation. Tony declines to make the presentation. All right, Ms. Orwig, you're up then. Okay, well, uh, my name is Dan Orwig from Orwig Associates, and uh, we were here at the last session that we proposed to uh, the Board of Appeals this uh, uh, request for a variance and it's 159. Now I do have all the plans here. Do I hit share screen? Do you want to see the plans or do you want me to go yes, through? Yes, please. Um, yes. Do I hit share screen? Share screen. Yeah. And if you could also focus on the substantial change yes okay and evan may have to assist okay dan Evan has his screen up. Do you see that? Do who? Tony? Evan has the screen up. Do oh, you, he does. Do you see it? Uh, yes. Okay, I do. Okay, you can start your presentation and okay and yes. direct this him the, as you as you need. The, the this is the existing conditions plan, and uh, there there are no changes in this plan, and it was not disputed by the the Board of Appeals. So if we go to the next sheet, uh, and this plan is the proposed plan that shows the addition of a, a elevator on the, on the basement level, as well as increased access to the, the garage parking area. Uh, other changes, but that's all of the changes that the a garage level. And if we go to the next plan, 
this this total plan has been revised. Uh, we did we met with the fire department people and we did uh, tracking of, the, of both the ambulance and the fire truck through the premises and that's on one of the plans and that influenced all of the design of the access and parking area in this particular area. Uh, we put the transformer pad over in this corner with the uh, dumpster uh, and we've increased the, the access both in and out uh, with a, with a, with a, a temporary um, emergency parking here in the, in the front and the possibility of no parking here that we would request the, the traffic people to make an analysis of. Uh, if we go to the next plan, that shows our, our fire department access through the parking area. And so it can come in and go out and, and, and make that turn adequately. Uh, we have a, a temporary, maybe a, a emergency vehicle parking area that can be here or could be used for loading, um, loading and access area. Uh, this area is the retail area that, that hasn't changed really. Uh, we go to the next plan. Well, we did analysis, uh, further analysis of the, the, the drainage. This is the existing drains, the, the total building area drains uh, to the sewer area right at this point right here. And the watersheds one and three are existing off site. So we put three design points uh, on the existing conditions. We go to the next one. This is the proposed condition drainage, and we reduce the, the total offsite runoff by more than 50%. So this, this shows the, the watersheds and how we're picking them up. And, uh, and we, we didn't really speak about drainage or anything with that regard to the, the Board of Appeals at that time. The main, their main consideration was uh, the uh, access and in and parking this parking ratio now is a little over two per per unit uh do we have more plans there i'm not sure you, i i had a comparison of the this is the last one i have pardon this is the end of it this is the end of one okay. i have yeah uh well i have a an, another plans that i submitted that has the bubble diagram that shows all of the changes and we will present that to the Board of Appeals because we've uh, we've re re reduced, increased the number of parking spaces per unit. I think we had around 1.5 before. Now we have a little over two, which which is which is a requirement. But the reason for that is all related to the design of this area uh, to to make sure that fire access access was adequate. Are there any questions? Um, so do you agree, <clears throat> Mr. May, that that's a change from the previous plan, 1.5 parking compared to 1.2? Um, yes, ma'am, they have made some changes um, to the plan, substantial changes in that um, they have gone out and done some phase one and phase two environmental testing. They have found some um, soil that needs to be remediated and that um, uh, uh, conforms to the soil conditions, which is one of the requirements to be able to get a zoning variance. He's also uh, increased the number of parking spaces, uh, reduced the number of total units, and uh, made the necessary improvements to his um, vehicular circulation to allow for better access for emergency equipment. So I, I think this is a good candidate to return back to, to ZBA. Okay. I do have a list of all of the, all of the changes and a comparison of the, the existing plan to that plan right now that, you know, we went from 80 units to 50 units, the parking, everything. 
I'm sorry I can't bring it up right now. But, uh, well, that's that's okay. Uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think you've, you've done good so far. Uh, okay. Questions from other board members? Uh, I like the changes. Okay. If there are no other questions, this is open to the public. Ladies and gentlemen of the public, if you'd like to ask a question of the board, please use the raise your hand icon at the bottom. If you're on the phone, please press star nine. And I do not see anyone wishing to ask a question at this time. All right. Anything from Deputy Williams? No, ma'am. I'm all set. Thank you. Okay. All right. Is there a motion? Motion to approve the standard conditions. Second. Okay. Roll call. Larry Hassan? Yes. James Sweeney? Yes. Orlando Spinola? Yes. Tony Gonzalez? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Good luck with CBA. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm fit remembering now, Evan, were we supposed to do a... Uh, Election of officers. Right, that wasn't on the agenda, but I'm thinking that we were supposed to bring that up tonight. Uh, yeah, I think we were supposed to. Like I said, we didn't do any preparation, so... How does this work? Someone nominates someone and votes, or we can just push it off till next month. Might as well get uh, out of the way. Okay. Yeah, traditionally we do it. Do it now. We're voting for chair. Yes. We're voting for chair, the zoning board rep, and the traffic commission rep. Okay. Well, I uh, nominate James Sweeney for the zoning board. Representative. Second. Do we have a second? Thank you. Second. Okay. okay. Roll call, Larry Hassan. Yes. Orlando Spinola. Yes. Gonzalez, yes. James Sweeney, do you accept? Yes. Okay. Um, anyone interested in the traffic commission? <laughs> I am. Okay. I nominate James Ooh. Sweeney. A glutton for punishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there a second? Second. Okay, roll call Larry Hassan. Yes. Orlando Spinola. Yes. Tony Gonzalez, yes. James Sweeney, do you accept? Yes. Okay. I nominate Tony Gonzalez, chair. Second. All right, roll call Larry Hassan. Yes. James Sweeney. Yes. Orlando Spinola? Yes. Tony Gonzalez, yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Do you accept? We do. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think that adjourns our meeting this evening. And just to remind uh, you, everybody, just, Madam Chair. April 13th, next month. Yes. Thank you, Larry. Someone wanted to ask. Madam Chair. Yes. Oh. Go ahead, Isaiah. Um, before you guys adjourn, I just want to let you guys know we do have some um, plans and lot releases to be signed in the office. Um, so please, hope I would love if you guys can get down here this week. That would be cool. I, I I will I will get down there this week because I will be leaving next week. Um, so I will get there this week. Once we go back to in person, you'll be able to sign them at the meeting. Yes. Oh All joy! Right. All right. All right. Thank you. I think there was. Deputy Chief, did you want to say something? Madam Chair? Yes. Yeah, I I may not pay attention very much. Uh, did did you do a roll call on those two returns to the ZBA? Or yes. did you just take a... No, we did a roll call. Shows you how much I was paying attention. <laughs> You're multitasking. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we just need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. One, one, one quick thing, um, oh. not that I mind going back in person, but I do believe that the um, because of the notice the federal government has to give to end the public emergency, it's ex extended now till May. Uh, I only know this because our waivers are all extended until May. Um, so if it's in person or if it's still um, online, just let us know. Okay. Okay, we will. All right. Uh, this, the state is through uh april 15th 
and uh, there is legislation um, to allow for hybrid meetings going forward. So, but the presenter and the um, board needs to be in the same room. So I don't know how hybrid that is. <laughs> And if it's going to be a rather large agenda, um, you know, we might maybe need that bigger room at times, not all the time, if it's a small agenda, but, you know, just something to think about. As yes, ma'am. Okay, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. Roll call. Larry Son. Yes. Jane Sweeney. Yes. Amanda Spinola. Yes. Juan Gonzalez. Yes. Good night, all. Thank Have you. a wonderful evening, everyone. Good night.